Hello everybody, I hope this finds you well. Today, uh, I would like to talk about a topic which uh, we should all take a notice of because it is about the very existence of our species. Pick. It's about the very existence of life on this planet itself. I'm talking about nuclear power, the waste from it. We already know what's going on over Fukushima is a big mess. They've been lying to us. They haven't been telling us what's going on over there. We're all being radiated slowly to death. It won't be long when uh, all sorts of people are going to start coming down with leukemia and other various cancers and illnesses because of it. Well, I'm sure they'll find something to blame it on besides what's really doing it. The nuclear industry has a powerful lobby in Washington. Um, and, um, I'd like to bring attention to a YouTube user, uh, Kevin DeBlanche. I'll put a link below. Um, he's a very irreverent person. He does have a lot of language in most of his videos, but his anger is right. He's right. He has righteous anger. I would probably be the same way if I was in his shoes. Maybe even more militant about it. He has a few videos I think you should look at. Um, mine, there is language in his videos. But the man is right. And he should be heard. We should all stand up and make ourselves heard about the issue he's talking about. You say, uh, our government years back spent billions and billions of dollars on a hole called the Yucca Mountain where it was planned to put the nuclear waste that these reactors are creating daily. Currently, all this spent fuel this highly radioactive spent fuel sets on location at that reactor site much like it did at Fukushima. We've seen the results of doing that. All it takes is one good natural disaster and in my opinion we should shut down every nuclear plant there is dismantle every bit of it and put it in the ground where it cannot harm anyone deep in the ground and those salt mines at Yucca Mountain would be perfect for that it would contain the radiation yet um, they stopped that Mostly because people not wanting to have that crap being transported through their towns on our highways to the site. Now, which would you prefer? Having them ship that stuff to Yucca Mountain or having that stuff just sitting there waiting for a disaster to kill us all? There are safe ways to transport that stuff and nuclear waste is transported on our highways already. Now, I brought up Kevin because he's formulating a plan of action and I think we should support him wholeheartedly in his plan whether we agree with him politically or not. You know, truth does not know a politic. Truth is truth. All I can do to support him is put my voice out there to be heard as best I can. 
do not have the funds or ability to travel to Washington or wherever to protest. I don't have money to donate to the cause. But I have a voice. We should all, we all should use our voices. Nothing else. The more of us speak up, the more likely we'll be heard. I've had a lot of friends die of leukemia and other cancers in the last few years. You say, uh, This area was downwind of the tests, open air tests back in the late 50s, early 60s, before they shut it down, put it on the ground. And uh, a lot of the people, you know, these cancers take time to develop in your body before you even know you have it. Oftentimes, by the time you find out you have it, it may be too late to do anything about it. Um, They're killing us slowly with this crap. Oh, we might not feel it. You can't smell it. You can't see it. You can't taste it. But it's going through us all the time. In our air. In our water. In our rain. It's already causing mutations to plants and animals. There'll be birth defects. More of them. Stillborn birth defects, other oddities caused by this. It's already too late to stop some of this. This stuff has a, a life that is much, much longer than we are, and it's patient. You may be infected today, and it may take 20 years before you notice it. What's this doing to the world? Will there be life in 20 years? Or will this planet be nothing but a desert? Or a place full of bizarre mutations? Life expectancy for our grandchildren could be much lower than what it is today. troubling thing. If you ask me what's going on over in Fukushima, like what went on over in Chernobyl, which is still affecting people today in Europe, Ukraine, what's going on in Japan, will have long-term effects on this world. It will be affecting this world long after we're gone. It's the number one problem we face now talking about nuclear annihilation. It's already begun. This ain't dropping a big bomb, as you can see. Something needs to be done. Our government's doing the opposite. They want to push more nuclear power, not less. Already, the reactors we have now are outdated, worn down falling apart. There's hardly one of them out there now that doesn't have a record of some incident, a leak or problem. And all they do is like put a band-aid on it, go on business as usual like nothing's wrong. They lie to us, you know. It's time for free energy, isn't it? I'm tired of being manipulated and controlled by these monopolies could control our energy. There are things out there now which are much cheaper and more reliable which don't burn any fossil fuels or any fuels at all. Work naturally. You can have a little box this big sitting in your house powering your whole house. And the longer it runs, the better it runs. I'll put a link to that below, too. This is research that is as old as the 70s, which they've been
keep them quiet. They don't tell you about. Our government knows about it. Our military's using it. But they don't want the sheep to know anything. The less we know, the easier we are to manipulate. You need to educate yourself, people. They're not going to educate you. Do some research. Don't just take my word or anybody else's word for these things. Study it yourself. And, uh, go check out Kevin. Say hi. On your support. He's a good man. My prayers are with him. Stay strong, Kevin. Bless you. Peace, love, and understanding will be with you all.